What's up guys? It is your boy Legions. We are back with another video. Also, I updated my channel banner. It's looking pretty fresh as well as the thumbnail. Got a new uh, uh, logo here for the channel. All right guys, so the first thing you want to think about in Rocket League or the most important, I should say, is defense, okay? The game is mostly defense. You have to play with a defensive mind in order to score at all. So what you want to work on doing is knowing where the ball is going to come and being able to position yourself on the other side in a way that you can clear the ball either to the corners or farther down the field, like over their heads. One of the best ways to clear the ball, guys, is to let it hit the ground first. You got to do a bounce shot. Let that ball bounce first and then smash it on the way up like that. You see that? You see how much power I got on that? Guys, the second tip I'm going to show you guys is useful for striking the ball. Nothing else. Striking the ball on the ground or if it has a small bounce to it. So basically what I'm going to talk about is as you're going to strike the ball, if you are having trouble aiming it, try to dodge to the side. Don't You don't have to dodge straight into the ball to make a good contact. If you know where the ball is going to be, you can kind of approach it to the side a little bit and dodge to the opposite side that you approached it on. It'll be a little easier for you to aim for the center of the ball when you're hitting it with your nose. Just try it out. A lot of you probably can already do this. It's very simple. You have to dodge sideways, not forward. It's just simply easier to aim for like that. Not in all situations though. Just remember this is a small tip that'll help you out in some shots. And if you master it, it'll make your gameplay a lot smoother. I'm a big dribbler, if you guys haven't noticed. So I like to practice my dribbles right away when I get on. I get into I get into a training, guys, and I just drive up to the ball, and uh, you know I can just keep the ball in my car. Just drive it straight in the goal. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want with it, guys. And guys, by flick, I simply mean the shot that you make after you know you're dribbling the ball to finish the move. So you get the ball in your car, and a flick is that move right there that I did to shoot the ball off the dribble into the goal. That was just a regular front flip, timed pretty slow so the back of the car can get there. And yeah, that's all there really is to it. It's pretty simple, guys. There's not a lot of stuff that's too complicated. Uh, you just have to learn how, you, how, how you're supposed to do it, you know? When you're thinking about aerials, try and think about height first, okay? And once you figure out the height of the aerial, you'll be able to fly right up to it and then worry about your aiming. Now, a lot of people are to the point, including me, to where I can aim my aerial as I'm flying up towards it. So it saves the most amount of time and is the most efficient aerial. See, I got my friend here, Shiggy, and my other friend, Michael, great names I know. And we're playing a threes match, right? So as you can see, we are constantly rotating out. What does that mean? It simply means that there is always someone that rotates back to play defense and another person that takes his spot to hit the ball. And the other person should be spaced out equally, almost, or, you know, generally equally to be ready for a pass or, you know, an available opportunity to score. So what happens when one person in the goal comes out to the ball? All that happens there is one person needs to come back and rotate out back to the goal. Guys, another thing about defense is when you're playing offense, is when your team has the ball, you're not going to want to put your goalie all the way back in goal. When your team has the ball and you're pushed up, you still want to play back, don't get me wrong. But you're going to want to play farther up to the point where you're playing near midfield. This will give you the chance to be able to be ready for any passes that your team makes or any opportunities for the other team to score. You will be ready for those because you're, you know, you should be placed pretty far back still. What I want to mention first is we already talked about rotating. Now the person that comes to rotate to the ball must call it. They must say, I have the ball, you know, notify your team you're gonna you're gonna hit the ball. 
And if you're planning on doing a dribble or any type of move or hitting it again, always say that as well. Calling out is the most important thing. Let your team know what you're doing. So simply call out and you'll be good. Get your timing down, guys, and you'll and all of this will really flow a lot better. Guys, that's gonna be it for the beginner tips of Rocket League that you must know. At least I think you guys must, you know, try and master at least to get better at the game. So thank you so much for watching, guys. My last montage did very well. I'm so happy how it came out. And I'm probably going to start, you know, working on something else of that nature. Um, get, I'm trying to, you know, build up a lot of goals. But we'll see what we get soon, guys. Thank you for watching the video again. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, still a bit dumb, but I'm okay.